Good morning, all you beautiful people out there from Texas. I'm just uh, just north of Tyler, Texas, here at a really pretty lake reservoir. A little chilly. The high today is only 53, but I mean, for me, it's still shorts and a t-shirt. For me, it is, because once the sun hits you, it feels good. Beautiful day. Look around park. Look where Miranda's at with a view out my window. Of the reservoir reservoir yeah by the way this this summer where and wherever i end up this summer spending most of the summer i'm gonna get a fishing license for that state an annual i'm just gonna have to i miss just sitting at the water in the morning or at dusk and just fishing even if i don't film it i miss it i do that uh, gonna get on the road Meeting up with a friend up near Paris. That's right, we're going to Paris, guys. You wanna go with me? I'm gonna take you with me to Paris. <laughs> All right, well, I made it to Paris. P Paris, Texas. <laughs> it's my cheat day here live, so uh, my buddy Josh and I, we're, we're gonna go check out the uh, sirloin stockade with a big happy cow. Come on and eat my meat. Doing the uh, buffet, there are gonna be a lot of options. I'm starting with chicken, potato, and carrots. Josh, you wanna say hi to everybody? What's up? We uh, absolutely hey, love your hoodie there, by the way. Oh, this is a one of a kind. <laughs> Looking good, but what's uh, plate one? This is roast beef, awesome. and brown gravy, and mashed potatoes. Awesome, bud, let's eat up. Doing cheat day right, trying a little bit of everything. A pizza, meatloaf, ham, and no tater haters here. So Josh has some kitties we get to meet, and look, she's a tortoise shell. You don't see too many female tortoise shell colored kitties. And what's her name? Pie. This is Pi, and she's a sweetie. Look at those eyes. Oh my goodness, can I have a paw since you're not using it? Oh, it's not for me? Okay. Look at the belly, can I have the belly? Oh my goodness, what a sweetie, and kisses. Thank you, don't tell Jax, okay? <laughs> and he has two kitties. This is the elder sister here, and what's her name? Reese. Hey, Reese. Hi, baby. You guys are very sweet. Yes, you guys are. Thank you. Thank you for being so friendly. Yeah. Are you stretching? <laughs> you showing off? Yeah, you showing the belly? Can I have a little more belly? Just a little bit? Oh, kisses. What a sweet girl. Thank you. I'll tell Jax that you were really sweet, okay? Yeah. Do you see Jax on the TV? Do, do you watch Jax? Yeah. Yeah, he's on, he's on the TV sometimes. Yeah. Oh, and look. Josh has got good taste. Nomadic fanatic. Subscribe with the videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, had a good catch-up time with my buddy Josh there. Not the last I'm going to see of him here in the Texas area, but um, I got to move on. He's uh, stationary there, and uh, Jax was okay with me petting the kitties. I asked him. Right, Jax? Yeah. Right? Yeah? Well, you wouldn't get along with him anyway. You hiss at everything. Even baby kittens you hiss at. That's right. Yeah. But, you know, I love living by the seat of my pants. I was telling Josh today, you know, I, I don't plan a whole lot out. I don't even know where I'm going to sleep tonight. Certainly didn't know what I was going to do tomorrow until I got back to the RV. I'm going to overnight here at the Walmart in Paris, Texas. It appears to be noisy for a Friday night. Uh, but it'll, it'll clear out because everybody's going to go to their parties and clubs. And I'm going to watch Netflix and hang out with Jax. But for tomorrow, I found something awesome by chance, by, by Googling. So, um... I'll get some sleep here, and then uh, hopefully, I think it's going to be sunny and nice tomorrow, maybe Jackson and I can take the stroller outside and uh, have a really fun day at a uh, world record place. We shall uh, see. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to put on some miles. I am really excited about this day, actually. But first, we got to leave Paris. But still, how about... The Eiffel Tower of Paris, Texas, adorned with the uh, cowboy hat on top of their version of the uh, Eiffel Tower here. Very fun, very, very quirky. <laughs> Let me make one more cup of coffee and then uh, you and I'll hit the road, guys. Yeah. I knew better. I was too happy. I got a AAA on the way. First time I've used them since having Miranda. 
just, uh, I know what you're thinking. This is a bad decision. I know how much it's been raining in Texas. You should never park on the grass, but can I, look, let me, let me show you. I was trying to do the right thing. Most people would just park on the concrete, Eric, right? It says fire lane, no park. You cannot block this area. It's fire lane. So I was thinking, hey, let's do the legal thing. <laughs> Let's get off the road so that we're not blocking the fire lane. That's where I ran into trouble. I didn't even feel it get soft like that time three years ago on the beach. But we ain't moving. A <laughs> little bit of a delay here. I'm gonna get a uh, wench out here from AAA. This is the first time I've needed it for anything. And you get three, that you, three toes, three wenches or starts, so. Dang it, Eric. <laughs> We'll get to where we're going today, just delayed. All right, we are gonna get back on the road here very, very shortly, yay. By the way, that was the most painless AAA experience of my life. And those of you who have been following this channel know it has not been pretty with AAA for me. Everything from being stranded on the highway, them sending three different trucks and taking eight hours to the guy who loaded my RV and then pinched it with his flatbed corner crumpled in the entire corner of my RV. And then, and then after the fact, with alcohol in his breath, literally said, well, man, I'm sorry. I'll just give you a free tow if you're quiet. Dude, it is a free tow. Well, it's AAA. I mean, <laughs> I've had some crazy AAA experiences. And I did hear that AAA dropped that one that was in Clearwater. Florida, they're, they're no longer AAA accredited after my report. And plus, AAA called me uh, after one of my bad experiences and wanted to make it right. You know what they did? They gave me a, a free year membership. I'm still on that free year. Otherwise, it'd be like $123 a year for the RV Plus. And, uh, that winch job out of pocket, I got to, these are so weird in Texas. I have to yield to the freeway exiting. You have the right of way, guys. I gotta sit here and wait. Okay, now I can go. But anyway, out of pocket, that winch would have cost $150 out of pocket. So all you gotta do is use it once and you've made your money back and you know you have a tow everywhere in the country. So it's convenient, it's nice. There's an RV record right there or a semi record. But big shout out to Pitcock towing there in AAA of Paris for hooking me up and getting me done in less than an hour, winching me out of there, so awesome deal. As you can see by this water tower off to our left, we've arrived in Canton, Texas, the tiny town of Canton, Texas. Let's see what their population is here. 3581. <laughs> 3,500 people here, but there's a lot of people in this city today. I have come an hour and a half south of Paris into Texas. All right, reason being, there is a monster event here going on today and tomorrow. Y'all know I love doing thrift stores, uh, garage sales, yard sales, stuff like that. How about the world's largest flea market? You heard that right, Canton, Texas. World famous, everything is bigger in Texas, but it is the world's largest flea market. I think it's outdoor, but also covered, so they do this year round. Interesting, uh, their website says it's free admission, but it costs $5 to park. <laughs> That's kinda, uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's kinda false advertising. Yeah, it's free to get in, but we all have a vehicle, so we have to pay $5 to park. But it's free to... Okay, all right. Also, this sign up here says, RV unreserved full hookup holding area first come first serve. Can we overnight park here? Hey, is the full hookup parking available all still? All the way down the bottom of the hill. Bottom of the hill? Yeah. How much is it? Ah, uh, you have to check with the log cabin. Okay. Gonna go find out where they want the RVs, and I'm just gonna see how much it costs for full hookups, because if I don't gotta leave here tonight and I can just stay here, then it takes a lot of the worry away. So I'll go find out where it is and how much it is. This place is just packed, though. 
You know what, it is pretty cool that this flea market actually has full hookup sites for RVs. 30 amp, water, a dump station that I'm probably going to use on the way out, and, and, and a garbage. I mean, it's nice that Jack's going to have some air conditioning, even though it isn't, isn't going to be incredibly hot today. It'll give me some comfort while I'm out. So I'm going to spend the night here at the world's largest flea market. Uh, I'm going to get the uh, stroller all taken care of so Jax can come with me. He won't be able to do the whole afternoon, but he'll he'll, he'll put in his time in the stroller and gets, get lots of attention from people. And then uh, we'll go camp here overnight, yeah. I'm going to bring my uh, iPhone with me just in case there's anything interesting I want to share with you. I'll be on the lookout for a couple new cassettes to add to my collection, yeah. All right, Jax, man, you're in your buggy. You ready to go? Ready to party? Yeah. So everybody better give me chin scratches and treats. Yeah, the better, man. All right, all right, man. Here we go. We've got lots of vinyl. We've got eight tracks and CDs. A couple cassettes over here. Uh huh. More eight track. Lots of stuff here, guys. All right. You enjoy the air conditioning. I'll be back in a little bit. I still want to keep looking. Okay. Be good boy. It's fun. I had several people tell me that is the first cat they've seen at this particular flea market. So, pretty cool. I grabbed one tape already for one dollar. I got Cannibal Corpse, like 80s death metal. <laughs> That's kind of a rare cassette for a, a buck. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go back out and keep looking though. It's fun here, man. This is my style. This is, this is how I like to spend a day. Oh man, I'm pooped, guys. That was a lot of walking. This place is like Disney World if you just like junk. I kept myself to a $75 budget for stuff, because I just got to have stuff. I think I did pretty good for $75. I'm not going to show you, though. Okay, I'll show you. I showed you the uh, Cannibal Corpse cassette. I got Steve Austin 316 action figure, posable. I got the uh, Star Wars bunt, like jumbo Lego looking guy to go with my um, R2-D2 cassette player. And I got a metal Homer toy that I did not have in my original Simpsons collection. You wind up the metal toy on the back and then he, he does stuff. So those are my toys. And the other thing. I've been hinting at this for a while. You all know about my massive cassette tape collection. It was a matter of time before I started collecting vinyl. I got good prices though. I started I'll show you what I started with. Steppenwolf, Kansas, Deep Purple, Judas Priest, Triumph, White Snake, Dokken, Bad Company, and Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah, I officially collect vinyl now. Okay. Yeah. How did Mr. Jax do without me? Yeah, how did you relax? You just, you kind of got overstimulated there a bit, huh? Yeah, lot, lots going on there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Laying on Dad's jacket? That's cute. That's cute, Jax. Alright, I do have to show you a few more things. I put batteries in this Star Wars alarm clock and set it and check it out. The darn thing works. And watch this, you push the head down and it lights up blue, LED. I set the alarm for 518 because I just want to see what the alarm sounds like. You never know, it could be Star Wars related. Oh. Well, that's kind of anticlimactic. Do you, is this is a snooze? Yeah, it's a snooze or something. That's cool. Let me uh, wind up Homer here and show you what he does. <laughs> he walks and drinks his beer, just like Homer would do. <laughs> it's a metal toy. This is all metal. It's pretty cool. I like it. Well, good morning. I slept really well here last night, by the way. A different kind of day today, though. It's uh, cloudy, really windy, very chilly. It's going to rain, so I think some of the vendors are going to pack up a little early so anyway i gotta get on the road new adventures coming you guys take care from jackson and i we will see you next time bye guys